Welcome to the premier location, the recognizable source for WWE news, rumors, headlines, where I stay up to date, keep you in the know, and work around the clock. That's why I stay prolific, consistent, and dedicated with the latest backstage rumors, news, and developments on Bray Wyatt and Seth Rollins, the main event picture, the WWE's plans, the WWE's projections, and all that contained in this one epic report for the viewers with the subscribers since day one. Make sure to check the video before this one on the Raw Ratings viewership and how I was actually surprised at the rating not being as, as bad as it was. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. The raw rating could have been a lot worse. So check out the video before this one, please. According to CagesideSeats.com, the latest on Bray, Bray Wyatt, The New Day, and of course, Seth Rollins will also be contained in this report, there is a strong possibility that The New Day will come up short in defending the WWE Tag Team titles against the Wyatts. Both factions are currently embroiled in a feud, and the Wyatts made a return to the WWE on the Raw after Money in the Bank, and were interrupted by New Day, who ribbed them in typical fashion. This sparked off a feud between the two, which you'll see in an important chapter written at WWE Battleground. There was some backlash about the decision because the WWE Universe thought that Rollins, Seth Rollins would lose to Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank. However, Vince McMahon is said to be the reason behind the decision because he believes that Seth Rollins could be one of the biggest bad guys in wrestling history according to CagesideSeats.com and ladies and gentlemen that is absolutely absolutely monumental that is historic for all the right reasons I know a lot of people were expecting Seth Rollins to come back to a face turn but that was not to be and of course when Roman Reigns failed the WWE suspension, well then the WWE had to switch course. You gotta wonder what would have the WWE done at Money in the Bank? Would have Roman Reigns won, but the WWE faced the, the WWE faced a scenario where they had an out for Roman Reigns, where Seth Rollins could defeat Roman Reigns one-on-one. -on -one. During his original heel run, talking about Seth Rollins, and his run as WWE Champion, Rollins would get consistent help from the Authority and others to help him as the Champion. Well, after defeating Roman Reigns clean, he'll be able to believe, believably stand on his own, writing his own chapter, changing the course of history, knowing that he could get the job done, knowing that he did not need help, he did not need Triple H, he did not need Kane. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen if, if, if Roman Reigns had not failed that suspension, would have Seth Rollins still defeated Roman Reigns? Would the WWE have stayed with the plan of, well, Roman Reigns is our champion, but it's not getting over. So, I mean, there's just a lot of different reasons and there's a lot of different we can overanalyze this until the cows come home, but the bottom line is most people would agree that the right man won at battle at, at Money in the Bank, excuse me, when Seth Rollins won. But even more people would argue that it was an even better decision that Dean Ambrose became the WWE champion at the end of the night, as it definitely changed the course of history. And Seth Rollins wants to be a history maker. He wants to be the dominator. But what about Bray Wyatt and the WWE tag team titles? Can the Wyatt family finally break break through? Can they pr finally go through that glass ceiling? Can the Wyatt family finally become champions and stay on top and embark on a journey that will make them realize that the WWE needs talent and they need to push and they cannot jeopardize a group that is as synonymous and as important with the WWE as the Wyatt family. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the latest on Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt in the WWE. Your comments, your opinions. Thank you for watching. If there's any more news, rumors, or headlines in the world of WWE, I will bring it to you where I always work around the clock. Subscribe.